So today we'll be looking at the Razer Huntsman V2 full-size keyboard. Now Razer do make this in the full-size and a TKL version. But the reason that I wanted the full size is because I do use the number pad quite a lot and I love the fact that we've got the volume controls on a full size that you don't get on the smaller TKL. So let's open it up and take a look at this keyboard. So there we go. It's obviously quite a large keyboard being the full size and it does also come with a wrist rest which is something I really like. We also get some instructions in here and a personal message from Minding Tan. Very important. Some instructions and obviously our Razer stickers. So take a quick look around this keyboard. So here we are, you can see the full size keyboards. The TKL version would be pretty much cut off around here. But as I mentioned, I really wanted this little jog dial for the volume control and multimedia keys that you don't get with the TKL. Now this comes with either a clicky switch or a silent switch. Now I've opted for the clicky. I really like that when I'm typing and this key will be predominantly for typing and a little bit of gaming on the side. Now the good news with the Huntsman V2, they've got rid of the ABS keycaps that they used to use and we've now got some proper decent PBT keycaps. And despite being PBT, they are still shine through. Now that does mean that the light isn't gonna come through the keycaps quite so well as the ABS, but I will take PBT over ABS any day, even with slightly reduced lighting. The PBT just feels so much better and they wear much better than ABS keycaps do. Now, as you can see, coming out of the back of the keyboard, we've got a braided cable. Now, this cable itself is not removable, and it comes through to just one USB port on this keyboard. There's no pass-through, and if we look at the bottom, you'll see that we've got two-stage adjustable feet to raise the height up to give you a good incline, as well as, obviously, the lovely Razer by gamers, for gamers, and rubber pads so it doesn't slip on your desk. I personally always have them on the maximum leg height because I like that incline for typing. So there we go with the actual feet up. The keys sound really nice. Now they put foam dampening in the model this year so we get a better sound from the keyboard. Certainly sounds a lot better than previous Razer keyboards I've used. Then obviously we can just add our wrist rest. It's magnetic so it sticks to the keyboard and doesn't just pull away. It's made from a faux leather, sort of a PVC faux leather. It's very comfortable, very soft, and will give you great support for your wrists for extended typing periods. Okay, so let's install Synapse, take a look at the lighting, and take a look at the features of this keyboard. Right, so I'm at my desk now. As you can see, I have my Razer set up here, and I've now just plugged in the Razer Huntsman V2. I had Synapse already installed, so it just updates and adds my keyboard in now into the Synapse. So you can see all my Razer devices along here. Now if I click on the Huntsman V2, it takes you through to the actual keyboard itself, and this is where you can start customizing it. So the first things first, any number of keys can be completely customized within the actual Synapse software. And not only can you change all the functions on the actual standard set of key layouts, you can also use the HyperShift option, which is where you press down a HyperShift key, and it gives you a whole load of new sets of keys to bind if you've got a lot of commands for maybe a particular game that you're playing. We also have a gaming mode, and this can be switched on with a particular game or all the time. Okay, so you can enable always on or in game. And what this will basically do if I put always on, I can disable the Windows key, uh, the Alt tab and the Alt F4, so that you don't accidentally hit them whilst you're in game. And then lastly over here, we have the polling rate. Now it's set by default to a thousand. And for me personally, thousand, I've never noticed, I don't think anything higher than that, but you can go all the way up to 8,000 and you can do it for typing and for gaming. So I just want to also just quickly talk about the multimedia keys. So you can see we've got the wheel here to do volume up and down by default. This can be changed if you click over here on the actual volume wheel. Also in the middle of the wheel, we've got a button which mutes. If you click that, you'll notice it'll turn red because it's muted. So regardless of what color you've got your keyboard, pressing this button will mute and turn it red so that you know that it's muted. Now beside the actual volume wheel, we have got the by default the multimedia keys, so which is just your previous track, play and pause, and next track. Uh, there's some lighting around the base of these keys, but I would have liked it if they'd actually had some shine through on these keycaps. Now you do instantly know, because you've got play in the middle, which the keys these are, but it would have been nice if they had have actually had those shining through. So then let's just quickly go through to the actual lighting itself. Now by default it comes on spectrum cycling, so just the whole keyboard is one colour and it changes through the spectrum. As you can see by my other Razer devices, a couple of the ones that I particularly like are Fire, 
If we click that, you'll see that the actual keyboard itself changes to the fire modes. So it's like sparkling through your different yellows and sort of amber colors. Another one of the effects I really like is the actual wave. You can change the direction, but this will, all the keys will go through a wave of different colors. This looks great when it's on all of your devices. And there are another load of options in here, such as static colors, spectrum cycling, breathing, an audio meter one, so it will like move with your music. So there's some really nice inbuilt effects. And you can also completely customize it to your heart content. So if we click through to the advanced effects and go to Chroma Studio, which then opens up in another tab, you can see all my devices are here and it's showing you what they're currently set to. So you can see I've got the wave and you can see I've got the um, fire on the actual laptop over here and the stands and the Raptor monitor. But what we can also then do is you can just pick individual keys and light up individual keys anywhere, any color. So it is a bit of a faff setting it all up, but if you want a particular color set for your keyboard, this is where you're going to do it. So I'm gonna go back now to my keyboard, go back into the lighting tab, and another couple of little things just to point out, put this back onto my wave, is firstly is the brightness. By default, we're on 100%, and as I mentioned, because this is PBT keycaps, it shines through, but the PBT are quite thick, and they're not the brightest keycaps in the world. So if you compare it to the actual laptop, it actually is a little bit more dim than the laptop. Still looks great at night, and I'm still glad that we've got that. I still take the PBT with this level of backlighting over ABS keycaps with better backlighting because PBT just feel and wear a lot better than ABS keycaps. Now you can also, if that's still too bright, you can adjust that completely from 0 to 100%. Another thing that I really like is the switch off lighting. So if you can have it so that when your display turns off, the backlighting turns off, that could be a handy little feature. Or you can also set it that if it's idle for so many minutes, it will turn the lighting off. So there we go. That's the Razer Blade Huntsman V2. This is a fantastic full-size keyboard if you're looking for that. There is the TKL if you want the slightly smaller version. But for me, for somebody that types a lot with these green switches, it's a fantastic typing experience and having that number pad for me when I'm doing a lot of spreadsheet work is really handy. This wrist rest is so comfortable and I love the fact that we've got these multimedia keys with the full size. So this is an absolutely great all-round package. As always, if you've got any questions, Pop it in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. And lastly, thank you for watching.